is there anything you can do if you are allergic to your pets or you suddenly develop an allergy to your pets? Well, I mean, the, the simplest, simplest thing, obviously, is to get rid of your pets. Okay, that's a no. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Especially cat, cat lovers, for some reason, more than, more than dog lovers. Um, the, uh, um, you know, the less exposure you have, the, the, the less problem you have. So if you can at least keep the animals out of your bedroom, it's helpful. Um, a lot of people don't like that either. Um, and, uh, you know, you, 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 you can be treated with medicine to control the pet dander related inflammation. Um, it's, uh, it's not a totally logical thing to do, but people have choices and, and a lot of people choose to do that. So, you know, if, it, if it's a simple allergy and you take an antihistamine, it's probably not an issue. If it's a more complex type of problem and you have to take steroid medication to allow yourself to be around pets, that's, uh, it's, it's a bigger question. Um, the, uh, the issue with animals is actually not the, it, it's the dander from the animal. It's the, it's the cells that come off their mm -hmm. body from their saliva and from their skin. So uh, you, can, you can clean up a lot of that stuff, but if you've got a, an animal in your house and you are allergic to it, you're gonna have some exposure and you're gonna to react to it. Can you develop one as you get older? Sure. Go through life with no problem whatsoever with the pets and all of a sudden then one day the asthma strikes or you have an, as you have an, you have an allergic reaction, I should say. You can. I mean, most... Uh, uh, Allergies of that extreme are something that you have from when you were a child, but uh, um, you know you can only develop it is the more you're exposed, the more your immune system's going to react. So it's going to get worse over time.